Hey guys, what's up? So, I debated not doing this video tonight, but I need to get it done, so I decided to go ahead and film my last Halloween Havoc of the year. That's kind of sad. I hope you guys enjoyed this series. It was kind of a lot of fun to film, but I also have a lot of videos I have to film tomorrow, and then after tomorrow I can take a break, and it's going to be great, and I'm excited. This is going to go up probably around the last of the, or near the end of the month, if everything goes according to planned. And this is the look I'm going to attempt to recreate. I think it's a little ambitious for myself, but it is what it is. It's a cut, it's a purple cut crease. I don't wear purple eyeshadow because I wear purple on my lips all the time. So I'm going to kind of change the look to kind of go with my aesthetic. Um, so anyways, I'm going to start with my Jeffree Star Cosmetics Magic Star Concealer in C0. I also have to take Kai to the doctor tomorrow. I have a doctor's appointment. It's just crazy. And I'm also on the lookout for some makeup that is coming in the mail that I have to obviously set aside. Cannot open and play with until the end of the month, unfortunately. And I have a Huda Beauty order I'm going to do. I haven't decided what all I'm getting. I'm always kind of like editing and adjusting my orders. Because, you know, I have things I have to, I'm a mom, I have things I have to actually physically get, so, for my kids. I'm going to take Doll from my Perfusion Mattes palette. It's a very, very light transition brown on my Luxie Mini Tapered Brush. And I'm going to start this as a transition shade, and I'm going to put it everywhere because we are going to cut the crease for this look. I just, I tend to think that cut creases actually look better if they are natural colors as opposed to, you know, the bright purple that the person in this um, picture did. Also, I was on Instagram earlier today and I saw Alter Ego is releasing a new palette called the Harmony Palette tomorrow. Uh, guys, why am I not intrigued by that? I don't understand it. I'm intrigued by usually everything. I'm going to take this shade from my original Kylie Cosmetics Bronze Palette. I don't know, you guys. Like, maybe it's because I have not been into Natasha Denona's releases lately. I don't know. But, like, I'm just not intrigued by it. I'm sure I'll end up picking it up eventually. But... Who knows? I don't want to add Alter Ego back onto the long list of brands that I'm purchasing, planning to purchase from. Okay, so the look in this picture goes kind of like out like this, and that's what I'm going to try to recreate right now, using this shade, this warm shade, from the Kylie Bronze palette. You kind of just want to do like a wing with your shadow. And like follow the natural contours of like your eyeball because again, all looks are going to be completely different because all of our eye shapes are different. I'm going to take my Jeffree Star Magic Star Concealer and I'm going to cut the crease with this, but I'm going to use a different brush. Okay, so all I'm going to do is take product directly off of the doe foot and cut the crease again one of the things is that it she has a wing she has the wing kind of like shaped into her look So, that's what I'm trying to do. I don't do cut creases very often, so you can definitely blame my lack of knowledge on cut creases for that. But, anyways, I'm going to take the Lion. The pit, this is the ColourPop and Caffeine Lights pigment. It's one of those Zodiac pigments. 
It's one of the few things in my makeup collection that I don't care how old it gets, it's not something that'll ever be left. Like, it'll ever get decluttered. And I'm just gonna spray them. Because I want, I'm not gonna lie, I want this to kind of be bold because I'm completely changing the look to, again, fit, fit my style. And just follow where I wave that concealer down. Basically, I'm setting the concealer with this pigment. And this pigment looks so good. Wet, you guys. All of these pigments do. ColourPop should really think about bringing a full collection in this formula in these pigments because I would buy them in a heartbeat. They're gorgeous. I've also not been doing very good. I just like, I ended up getting a very sad moment. And I don't know why, but I did. It was weird. I guess like, I don't want to wait a year to do a, another declutter. But when I laid out my schedule, that was the only time that I had a bit was a year from now. It was like 300 something videos from now, which is 300 days. And like, it sucks and it's like, but that's just where the cookie crumbles, unfortunately. Unfortunately. I'm gonna put a little bit more right there because I can see patching. And I'm taking the pigment and I'm packing it. I'm not swiping, I'm packing, and I'm getting very, very good payoff with this. I'm going to go back over the line. I'm telling you guys, this pigment, like these pigments are just so gorgeous, like look. That is real light, you guys. Gorgeous. Just so gorgeous. Can I say gorgeous a few more times? I know. I'm going to take this shade here and I'm just going to kind of like loosely put it on the brow bone. For a second there, I thought I wasn't filming. Taking another brush, I'm going to take this one right next to it and I'm going to put that in the inner corner. more focusing it on the lower part like that. So all I'm gonna want to do for my lower lash line with a look like this is follow what I did in the crease. So doll first on a Luxie mini angled brush and I'm going to basically line my lower lash line like I would any other look. And then I'm going to do this one. You know, like, I'm wanting to take some time off after tomorrow from filming my makeup. I want to let my skin, you know, heal. Then this shade. You know, spend time with my kids. Kai, I think I told you guys, have not been feeling good lately. So I want to, you know, obviously I'm taking him to the doctor. So I'm going to figure out what's wrong with him. Because obviously what I'm doing is not helping. Okay, and then the only difference is I'm going to take this shape here and I'm going to put it on the outer edge to kind of give it some depth. I think we're good on the shadow aspect. So keeping in line with the purple theme, I'm going to take Odin's Eyes Eyeliner in 08008. This is the most purple liner I have. You know, it doesn't match the look at all. I wanted to still pay homage to the original look. 
Okay, now it's time for the hard part. She was very ambitious. I don't know if you guys can see with the ghosts and the cut, cut crease. See that? I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. So I'm going to do one ghost in my cut crease. So like right here. Actually, that wasn't too, too bad. I'm going to do another one. Maybe. Nope, never mind. Course, do as many as you feel you want. This is Halloween. It's meant to be fun. It's meant to be creative. You know, again, that was Wind Doves Cry, by the way, from Urban K. And this is the So Dark one. This is what I'm using to create. Eyes and mouth. Just two little dots. Not too hard. That wasn't too, too hard. Jeffree Star Cosmetics' Lash Curler to curl my lashes. You know, again, this series was just meant to have fun, be creative, because Halloween is my most favorite holiday, but it can't be. I have kids, I have young kids. Jeffree Star Cosmetics' Lash Primer. I just thought it'd be really cool to show you guys, like, you don't need to go out and spend a lot of money on stuff to be able to create something fun and, like, festive and Halloween-y. So that was kind of the idea behind this, because I did not purchase any products for any of these looks. Anastasia Lash Rag Mascara. You know, makeup for me is meant to be creative and fun. And Halloween for me is something that represents the exact same thing, which is creativity and fun. So for me, the two kind of go hand in hand. And that's all I was trying to show you guys with this series. So I'm going to use these Kai Parami lashes. These ones right here are the ones I've been testing out with my tried and true Kiss Lash Couture Strip Lash Adhesive. So even though like you can't really see the ghost, I still think I was able to create a beautiful look that would be a lot of fun to wear on Halloween. For 9 o'clock at night, it is 8.52 at night. So forgive me if I wasn't being ambitious with the ghosts. But the look online had the ghosts all the way from here. It was really pretty. I'm going to show you guys the full look. Like you can see the ghosts in the cut crease. It's fun and ambitious, like I said. Do your own twist on it. In case you guys are curious about how I'm feeling about these lashes, they are the epitome of fake and cheap lashes. I think I'm going to go ahead and throw these away after this, but I feel cheated. I want my $3 back. Okay, you guys, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed. It was a lot of fun, and yeah, I'm going to end this video here. So, of course, like, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell. What this from you guys saw? Remember, it costs you this much to support this channel. I post every day, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye, you guys.